Here we're in the Camargue. Uh, this is the delta uh, wetlands of the Rhone River, uh, south of Arles and, and considerably south of Paris, along the southern uh, Mediterranean shoreline. The area you see behind me is a salt pan. Uh, it's an area that's inundated very infrequently by saline water, and as a result, salt can build up in the, in the soil. It's not leached out by the tides. And we have some salt-tolerant species growing uh, among this community. The tussocks behind me are tussocks, uh, these tussocks being these round patches of vegetation, are tussocks of uh, a succulent that's highly adapted to flooding. Uh, it's probably the genus Salicornia or closely related uh, genus uh, here in, in Europe. Another species we have in Louisiana, it's uh, Limonium. Uh, it's found throughout the world and it's a highly salt tolerant species. A species of Juncus, for instance, is also uh, within this uh, area. Uh, but the, what's unique about this little patch, this little habitat, is uh, the fact that it's a salt pan, high salinity area, uh, with species adapted to growing in high salinity. Some species here have salt glands that excrete salt. Other species uh, use uh, dilution, have a high water content, and they dilute the salt content, uh, the salt that they take up. So. Uh, uh, we're going to look at some other habitats here in the Kamar as well. The salt water sometimes extends far up along the uh, gradient, uh, the elevational gradient, and when it does, uh, it can inundate these areas of trees that are not salt tolerant. And as you can see behind me, uh, that these trees are now dead. Uh, so at some point in the past, the recent past, salt water did uh, affect this area and cause tree mortality. I don't know what tree it is then. We're still in the Camargue, which is the delta of the Rhone River. And one of the dominant species uh, in the Camargue is Phragmites australis. Uh, the common name is Rosocane. And it has a global distribution <clears throat> and occurs uh, all over the world uh, in uh, the Mississippi River Delta and uh, many other deltas of the world. Uh, this is uh, a stand of it. Uh, it tends to occur in uh, fresher areas. And uh, in Europe, uh, they're having a problem with it because uh, it's dying back in some locations. The cause of that dieback is not really uh, certain, but uh, some researchers think uh, that it has something to do with the buildup of sulfide, which is a reduced phytotoxin uh, buildup in the soil, and, uh, and this uh, is uh, causing uh, death of uh, the plants and a dieback of large stands of Phragmites. Behind me, uh, you see uh, what is called Le Vacare, uh, which is a lagoon located in the Camargue and it's connected to saltier lagoons to the south, the Imperial and the Lyon, uh, which uh, communicate or connect to the sea. And uh, the salinity of the Vacare uh, is strongly uh, uh, connected to uh, the periods of rainfall from year to year. And uh, generally, uh, the Vacare receives rainwater in the winter and agricultural discharge of water in the summer. And uh, water leaves the system through both evaporation and outflow uh, to the sea uh, during, during flood. An extensive area of brackish water is essential for a lot of different types of uh, species of fish, uh, such as smelt, and also some migratory uh, species such as sole, uh, or uh, also as a nursery for uh, eel in some of the coastal lagoons. When the water is less saline, uh, you have species such as carp, uh, brim, and the Danube catfish.
We're at the far southern end of the Camargue right now, and uh, this is just to the west of the Rhone River, uh, behind a barrier beach. Remember, this is a Mediterranean climate, uh, so very little rain during most of the uh, of the uh, year, only rain in the winter. Uh, and as a result, the salinities can get high, and the marsh vegetation reflects that. And behind me uh, is a natural salt marsh. Uh, hasn't been grazed, as far as we can tell, at least not recently, uh, and contains a very high number of species, plant species, given the salinity here. This area has traditionally been used for uh, salt farming. Uh, this is an area of high evaporation, and throughout the Rhone Delta, there are large areas that are salt ponds that have been levied off as for salt ponds. These are areas where uh, they're allowed to inundate uh, a certain amount of salt water, and again, this is very high salinity water. Uh, then they're closed off uh, so that uh, the, the salt water evaporates and the salt, of course, accumulates. And uh, as a result, uh, salt production is a uh, big industry down here, and there are really some huge mounds, tremendous uh, hills, really, of uh, salt mined in this particular way using, using salt ponds.